Everybody knows La Caraf is haunted. Some scary things have happened. Yeah, people want to know about the ghost. Yes, it's haunted. I'm Carolyn Wingler, and I'm the owner of La Caraf. I've heard that this place is haunted. Very old bar, has a lot of history with it, so. It has a lot of history behind it. When you come to La Carafe, you're never alone. There are always some presences around. I've heard a lot of people tell me stories, and even some people see ghosts right here in the room when I'm here. About a year ago, there was this guy in downstairs, and he says to me, what did the lady die of? And I said, who are we talking about? And he said, the woman upstairs. And I said, how do you know there's a woman upstairs? And he said, well, she keeps coming down the stairs and stops at the landing and staring at me. One time there was a guy who went to the men's room. <sighs> Got a tap on the shoulder. And uh, he turned around to look. There was nobody there. So he took off. He left. <laughs> he left the building <laughs> quickly. <laughs> So I've kind of heard everything happens on the second floor. What I've heard about the second floor is that ghosts may not be as friendly as they are down here than they are up there, so. There was some people in and they came up upstairs. When they left, they told me there were five ghosts up here. Mostly we hear there's two, a man and a woman. And the woman is alleged to push other women down the stairs. I've heard people shove down the stairs. There's a woman who sings. A little boy bouncing a ball around on the floor and uh, running after the ball and what have you. I definitely believe in ghosts. <laughs> it's dark it's and kind of spooky and just, you know, I don't feel like we've, we have places like this in Houston. Yeah, so it's very unique. An old girlfriend of mine told me there's a, there's a guy that's always standing in front of that mirror over there. She said he's always there. Yeah, dead serious, yeah. It's, everything happens here. It was built in 1837. It was rebuilt in 1860 after a fire in 1859. Originally it was a bakery primarily. It was also a uh, stagecoach stop, trading post, general store. It became a bar in the mid-50s. We had a, a, a bartender who said that he saw a deceased bartender that worked here sitting at the table by the window. Carl, yes, exactly. Here we have people from all over the world because we're in guidebooks everywhere. People like to come here and do seances. People like to do tarot card readings. We're old school because yeah, we only take cash. The old cash register is still working. It's still working, they're still hand cranking it. Back in time, pictures on the wall. It, it does feel like everyone's just staring at you from behind. It looks like there's always someone looking at you. <laughs> and I heard that it was uh, haunted, so I was really excited about the ghost tour here. It's got real charm and real character that really is its very own. You've got all your friends and then some other ones. 